Brooklyn Center Police are asking residents to be vigilant after a record number of catalytic converter thefts. Officials say they've seen an increase in thefts over the last three weeks. Reporter Sonia Gowen shows us why criminals like to target hybrid or newer vehicles. If you park your ride on the street, you could be setting yourself up for heartbreak. Thieves can remove a catalytic converter from underneath a vehicle within minutes. If the vehicle's higher off the ground, obviously it's easier for somebody to slide underneath there and cut them out. Brooklyn Center Police say they've had over 71 catalytic converters stolen so far this year. That's a 97% increase from the previous year. So the best way that you're probably going to notice is the vehicle will be very loud. Um, it will definitely sound different. Charlie Stimmick says TGK Automotive and Crystal has had several vehicles come in because of stolen catalytic converters. We've been seeing quite a bit, um, a lot of the imports being stolen due to the higher metal content inside of them. Catalytic converters filter engine pollutants from vehicles. The inside of the canister is coated with valuable metals. Catalytic converters are like treasure troves for criminals. What they do is they take the metal inside and melt it and then eventually sell it. Uh, when this is stolen, they'll cut it out from this piece of metal right here and they'll cut it this one out and then they'll cut it from here to here. Thieves like to target hybrid or newer vehicles because these types of models produce fewer emissions and don't damage metals inside the catalytic converter as much. A lot of places that do recycle will not accept them. There is a market for people to cut them out and steal them because yes, there is value in them. Brooklyn Center Police say there are several prevention tips. Don't park your car on the street, but if you have to, make sure the area is well lit. You can also engrave the VIN number on your vehicle's converter. They do make aftermarket like cages and accessories that you can put on there to try to prevent theft. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Replacing a catalytic converter is expensive. It can cost upwards of a few thousand dollars depending on the model. A big donation to Hennepin Technical College will help students in the heavy truck program. Long Haul Trucking donated a 2017 big rig to Hennepin Tech on Wednesday, and instructors say this donation is a boon for the program. State monies for schools has been really cut back over the past couple of years, and we haven't had hardly any money to buy new equipment, so a donation like this of new current technology is huge for student learning. The Hennepin Tech Truck Technology Program is unique in that it's an internship-based program with students working and going to school at the same time. Getting to work on a newer model truck will be important for students as they enter an industry that's rapidly changing. It's kind of turning into more of a technological field. There's a lot of uh, electronics involved versus just turning a wrench now. you got to know how to comprehend how these new electronic systems work in order to you know, get a driver back on the road. There is currently a demand for truck technicians. Our family stories are what make us who we are. That's the message behind a new book from a Plymouth author. If you sit down for a visit with Ben Kiriagis at his Plymouth home, you'll learn he's a strong believer in stories. I believe stories are very important to us individually and they're very important to society. Stories make us who we are. His belief in the power of a story is one of the reasons why he wrote a memoir called Don't Marry an American. Uh, my mother gave me only one advice, and the advice was, whatever you do, don't marry an American. But beneath that catchy title, Kiriagis recorded stories of perseverance and grit. His family survived Nazi occupation, civil war, and immigration. They were able to survive and thrive and uh, I wanted those stories to survive for the family. And if you're wondering whether Ben heeded his mother's advice, he had to think twice about it when he met a girl named Shelly. I saw her in a class we had and uh, she gave me a big smile and uh, that was it. It was pretty clear he stood up above all the rest. When I met Shelly, I had to make a decision whether I was gonna listen to my mother <laughs> or do the right thing, and the right thing was to marry Shelley. Since then, the couple has always split their time between Minnesota and Greece. Ben's mother wound up loving Shelley. Twice a day, my mother would tell me, oh, I'm so glad you married Shelley. I'm so glad you married Shelley. She was convinced that I could never find a wife, a Greek wife, as good as Shelley. And that was music to my ears. And that lesson feeds into one of the biggest lessons from this book. Keep your eyes and your heart open for what the unexpected could hold. If we already have 
our minds made up, uh, I think it prevents us sometimes from uh, doing what may be better for us. And you can find the book, Don't Marry an American, available on Amazon. The largest fundraising campaign of the year for Interfaith Outreach is underway, and they have a few big events to coincide with your holiday shopping. The first is Shop with a Purpose. Shop with a Purpose actually started about 13 years ago with the foursome, and today has expanded to over 27 local businesses in Hamo, Long Lake, Minnetonka, Plymouth, and Wyzetta. These businesses generously donate a portion of their proceeds on the 16th and 17th to Interfaith. Shop with a Purpose is on December 16th and 17th, and you can find a list of the businesses participating on the Interfaith Outreach website. All proceeds go toward the Sleep Out campaign, which helps prevent homelessness. Then the Resale Select store will host a luxury shopping experience called Breakfast with Tiffany's on December 17th. So we've got some great items that are um, curated and they're uh, vetted so that high-end items that we've brought into the store. Some of those items include a diamond tennis bracelet and a basketball from the 2002 All-Star Game, signed by greats like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. If the items are not sold in the store for the event, they'll all go on sale online. Here's just a glimpse of what you can find, and you can find a link to learn more on the Interfaith Outreach website. I'm John Jacobson with sports. The 2021 high school volleyball season ended in November with Wyzetta becoming the first big school state champion in 12 years to finish the season undefeated. And the Trojans are well represented on the 2021 CCX All-Area Volleyball Team. We start our team with a great set of hitters. Like to Revere for the kill. White set us number 28. Katie Revere led the 34-0 Trojans and kills this season with 253. The senior right side was named All-Conference, All-State, and All-Region. Nice dig, though, by Revere. She'll play next year at the University of North Dakota. Wysetta's number 23, Sierra Moore, was another dangerous hitter for the Trojans. Moore finished second to Revere in kills with 239. She, too, was All-Conference, All-State, and All-Region. Swing by Moore, down for a point. And will play college volleyball at Maryland, Baltimore County. Hopkins number six, Sophia Matthew, was a bright spot for the Royals this season. Matthew led Hopkins in kills and was top three on the team in aces, digs, and blocks. She was named all Lake conference. Champlain Park's number seven, Carly Gilk, made an impact as a freshman. And she puts it away. Leading the Rebels in kills with 263. The right side hitter was an all-conference player for the section 5-4A runner-up Rebels. Maple Grove middle hitter number 23, Kara Sear, was an all-conference and all-region player this fall. The senior finished her career second all-time at Maple Grove in blocks, including 56 this season. Ooh, and there's Sear getting a swing. She was the team's player of the year. Champlain Park's number 12, Claire Caswell, was an efficient hitter for the Rebels. And hammered home by Caswell. The senior middle was third on the team in kills, but hit at a 340 percentage this season, while also leading the team in blocks. Caswell was all Northwest Suburban Conference. Wysetta's two middle hitters were both terrific while sharing court time. Number 26, Emma Gerger, was third on the team with 197 kills, second in blocks with 63. Huge block at the net. Gerger was chosen as a third team All American for the nationally ranked Trojans. Wysetta's number 27, Mel Goldstein, was a fiery leader and a fan favorite for the Trojans this fall. Senior middle led the team in blocks with 72. Goldstein was named All Lake Conference. Attack and blocked by Goldstein this time. Our setters include Champlain Park's number two, Allison Kopp. The senior split time at setter and helped the Rebels to a 23 and 7 record. The All Conference player will play next year at St. Thomas. Number 11, Abby Heinrich, led West Lutheran to their section final in Class A this season. The four-time All-MCAA Conference setter also finished the season with 98 kills and was an efficient hitter. White set is number 10. Stella Swenson is one of the top sophomore recruits in the country. The first-team All-Metro and All-State player put the ball in perfect spots all season for the Trojans and can dump the ball from her setter position as well as anyone. Swenson also led the team in ace serve. She'll get another ace. Our liberals include White set is number 4, Ella Vogel. 
The first team All-Metro and All-State selection started for both the 2019 and 2021 state championship teams. Vogel finished the season with 329 digs and will play next year at UNC Greensboro. That layout is just filthy Vogel. Maple Grove's number 13, Liesl Haugen, was an all-Northwest Suburban Conference player for the Crimson. The junior libero and defensive specialist finished with the fifth highest single season dig total in school history with 349. Benilde St. Margaret's libero, number 17, Michaela Dooley, led the Red Knights in digs with 324. The junior was named all Metro West Conference and the team's most valuable player. What a shot by Dooley! And that's our squad, the 2021 CCX Sports All-Area Volleyball Team. Wise Hunter goes back to back, they're state champions again. These players enjoyed good seasons too. Here are the honorable mention selections.